Who are you gonna call? Ghost Beaters! So as well as the new Civil War trailer being released, a couple weeks ago the new Ghostbusters trailer came out. <clears throat> the first one for the movie starring Kate McKinnon as Jillian Holtzman, Kristen Wiig as Aaron Gilbert, Melissa McCarthy as Abby Yates, and Leslie Jones as Patty Tolan. <clears throat> now I looked at the likes and dislikes for this video or for this trailer because I heard that this was getting a lot of hate and there is 711,000 dislikes on this trailer video. Um, well, I, okay, I love the Ghostbusters. I love that first one so much. It was funny. It had its own, it was a comedy, but it had its own like thing to it. This one, while it does look funny, I don't think it really looks like a Ghostbusters movie. It doesn't have the Ghostbusters feel. It's like a, a group of four people, three scientists, one other, uh, hunting down ghosts with a cool car and a bunch of scientific techno jargon and gadgets and stuff like that. But it just kind of looks like a standard comedy to me. Now, I think it's going to be... I think it'll be pretty good. I think a lot of people are going to be eating their words. And it's going to come out and be pretty decent. When we get remakes like this, and it's like a group movie, you get remakes of the characters as well. Like, <clears throat> we have the four guys being now their four women. We have Winston being played by another African-American woman. And then um, Egon is the, the Hertzman character. The girl with the blonde hair and the crazy uh, yellow goggles who actually I'm looking forward most to seeing because she looks like the most interesting character of the bunch. And then we have Milsa McCarthy who I think might be uh, Vinkman, kind of like a Vinkman character, and then Aaron is the Ray, possibly. I also think that Hertzman's kind of a, a Vinkman and Egon kind of combo thing going on there. Overall, the tone of the trailer, it oh, look, the movie looks funny, the effects look pretty cool, especially the giant like stilt walking ghost. The movie overall looks pretty good, but I don't know, I just I don't think it has the same vibe as the original Ghostbusters. But I also don't think it's going to suck, like a lot of people do. So, I guess we'll see. Also, I like the beginning of the build-up, where it says, 30 years ago, four scientists saved New York. And then it's like, it goes... Dun. And it's like, this is like, kind of like the Jurassic World trailer built-up, was like... Dun. Dun, na, na. And it was like the slow build up to the theme song. Kind of that same thing here where in between each notes and the card, the, the word cards, it would show famous things that we know from the movie. It would show, uh, I think it was like the skyline in New York and then it was the firehouse and then it was like a subway tunnel where graffitied on the wall it was the the ghost logo with the don't you know ghost i'm afraid no ghosts it was really cool i like that build up that was probably my favorite part aside from the seeing hertzman on there there's just one thing i'm confused with with this movie is it a sequel or is it a reboot like i said in the beginning of the trailer they do the whole um 30 years ago, four scientists saved New York City, so obviously they're referencing the original Ghostbusters movie, so they're not acting like it doesn't exist. But that could, but I've heard some things that they're saying that this is a totally, like this is a, this is a remake, a reboot. It kind of conflicts with what they're saying. You can't really just put in your trailer that in the history of this movie that you are about to see this summer, 
There were four scientists, the Ghostbusters, and now we have a new set of Ghostbusters now in 2016, saving the world from paranormal activities. No, not that paranormal activity. So many callbacks to the original movies, the Ecto-1, Slimer, it's just, um, everything is just, they need to explain somehow, somewhere in this movie, they need to mention the old Ghostbusters. I mean, we're having three of the four appear in the movie as like, according to IMDb, Bill Murray, um, Ray and Winston, they're going to be in the movie, so you can't just have them in there and act like the first one ever existed, whether they're cameo parts or not. They're in there for a reason, for nostalgia's sake, for the people who've seen that movie when they were kids. I was not one of them, although I did see them. I did see the movie when I was a kid, and I love it to this day. I mean, you got Slimer. Slimer was in the first movie. I feel like th this movie might end up being like Ghostbusters 2, where they're like, oh, the first movie was so successful and funny and comedic and great. Everyone loved it. So we gotta push that extra hard in this sequel. Gotta try to make, it's, the whole thing is try to make them funnier. I mean, Ghostbusters 2 was still pretty good, not as good as the first one. But it did lack some stuff there, and that might be what this ends up being. But I'm still totally looking forward to it when it comes out, and I will be in theaters when it comes out for the good price of $13 a ticket. So we'll see. So Ghostbusters, will it suck? Won't it? Well, only one way to find out. Wait till this summer. Till next time, guys. Stay tuned.